All right, it is time for day two of War Machine Maya. So today, the main thing I want is I want to get Scorn. Scorn would be super duper cool to have. So hopefully we can push through the game a little bit, get a lot of XP going, and then we can grab this. We can start grabbing like energy condensation. We can have our sustenance for the more health. And then we can try to run it with like a matriarch here. And then we can just pair all of that together and kind of see how it acts through the rest of normal mode. But besides that, the plan is just to try to get through normal mode for now. Okay, I didn't grab a Lusko because I make poor life choices. But we do have a Topnia. Yeah, that's going to be good. That works. Alright, cool. Level 16. So, we can go ahead and put our point into leverage here. And... Born is a 5 out of 5 skill. I was not expecting that. Okay, that's pretty cool. I don't know what exactly stat is going to change on it, so we'll need to level up again to be able to see. But that's super duper cool. Right, cool. Level 17. So, I don't know what changes. I gotta be honest with you. I don't know if Scorn is supposed to be a 5 out of 5 skill. We can try investing more into it and seeing if it does anything different. But as of right now, all I'm thinking is that this should be really, really strong. Because basically, in normal mode, our health actually scales really, really well. Like, for example, these do, like, this does 800 damage, right? And our health is 500. And if we take 500 times 3, that's a lot. That's a lot, a lot. So this might just roll everything it touches. That was weird. Okay, we'll have to figure this out. It seems like it's a weird impact ability that just hits wherever you look. Also, I can't see the cooldown timer for it, so that kind of feels bad. Okay. So, yeah, it looks like our skills overlap. So, Leverage and Scorn both share the exact same slot on the bar, which makes sense, because you'd only really use Scorn whenever you have Phase Lock active, because you could pair it with Energy Condensation. But it does also mean that we can't really tell when our Scorn is off a of cooldown, unless we have a Phase Lock up, which does kind of feel bad that that overlaps. Let's try using it again. That seems good. It looks like it's just a direct on one enemy, kind of like uh, like a rocket, but that's pretty cool still. Alright, so let's grab this guy. Yeah, that's pretty strong. We're kind of just dealing too much damage to be able to see if it ticks multiple times on enemies because they're dying to the first attack. So hopefully Wilhelm will be thick enough to test on. And also, he doesn't really care about fire damage, so surely it'll be a good test. We're going to phase lock a surveyor and then throw scorn at him. This is just kind of to get practice in for whenever we get agony. Alright, cool. Not a bad fight overall still, but still a little bit weird. Okay, so we did just level up. We're going to go ahead and put another point into Scorn. See if it does any better. That seems like the exact same number. I don't think anything improves by having multiple points in Scorn. I gotta be honest with you, I think we'll just spec sustenance and then we'll probably spec the point back out eventually and then just run sustenance instead, and then get, like, the other skills down here. Because, yeah, that's a little weird. Okay, so if you whiff phase lock, it actually consumes phase lock. So if you miss, you're bad, and you actually just have to wait for the cooldown. That's kind of funny, actually. Okay, so I, I, I mean, I know they're robots, but kind of like... That's pretty good. A single scorn against a constructor and it did that much? That's really good, actually.
That's pretty good. That's really good. Hey, yo, Undertale boss fight song? Yes. Wait, what? <gasps> no, I can cancel my phase lock? Wait a minute. Hold on, I can cancel my phase lock. So if I do this and then press it again, I think that might be left over from the Axton. Because on Axton, you can action skill again to recall your turret. But it works on Maya? Interesting. You don't get that last damage blast if you do it, but that's super cool. So hold on. We're gonna we're gonna test an idea. Okay, so we're gonna test Born with one point, and then we're gonna test it with five points. We're gonna see if there's any visible difference. So that's 5,551. Go ahead and spec more points into it. AFK for a second. So we get our cooldown. 5,565. That felt the exact same. I don't know. I don't think any more points does anything. Also, we could not spec fleet and we could just send it down middle tree. Because some of these skills are kind of really neat. And I would really like to try to test them already. Okay, this skill feels like it should be a one point as well, because hovering over it, it doesn't look like anything changes by specking more points into it. So I think that Scorn and Energy Condensation are supposed to both be one point skills, because more points don't do anything. And that, that makes sense. I feel like Agony should only stack 1% health per damage. But, yeah, that's weird. So these two seem to be off. But that's about it. Okay, so yeah, this will be... We'll just lock this in right now. This will be our spec. We'll just have the one point in here, one point there, so that we can get our agony stacks up and use the scorn ball. And then we'll just dump into this until we get a little bit of life tap. And then, I don't even know if we'll probably get two of these. One of them either. Not sure. I don't know. Okay. So this is how we're going to test. We're going to put some flat off fire nades near this guy. We'll go over here and grab something. And yeah, we're getting our stacks that we expected to get here. And then we'll do a throw. And yeah, 9,765. So yeah, we can get a pretty substantial amount of bonus damage here pretty fast and pretty easy with the flat off nades. So that's probably what we'll look out for. Maybe we'll get a Stormfront or an Electric Chair later on, but that probably will give us tons of stacks. So this is still a work in progress. So it does that, but if you reflect, it instantly ups the projectile speed a lot. Also, it only costs one ammo to shoot, which is super duper cool. Very spammy. Times 37. Yeah, you know, don't want to like make it too high. Also, if you notice, the damage on it is literally the number 14. But it is 14 times 37. But it is only 14. To be fair, I guess. Although, now that I think about it... I wonder if the individual pellets count for the damage stacking. Like, if I just kinda... Oh... Oh no, we're holding on to this forever. <laughs> okay. Hmm, that that could be fun. Alright, cool. Alright, so here's our plan. Phase lock. Get our stacks up. Nice. That's so good. That's so absurd though. But that's so so good. Ooh, okay, we got a Maggie. Nice. So, I might just use the Triketra on basically everything, but Maggie, just in case as a backup, is a good idea. So, we'll, we'll keep that. That's good. Okay, we hit level 22. Still no Slaga. That's okay. Okay. We're gonna do this last run. But if we don't get the Slaga, we'll just move on. 
Yeah, no, we can just move on. That's totally fine. We really, really don't need one. Especially with how our character's feeling right now. It just would have been cool to have had one. Right, how much damage can we do through the ultimate BA? We'll go ahead and get a bunch of stacks. Hopefully keep them up. And... Yeah. Cool. Okay, cool. We've got emergency circumstance capped out. We're pretty much going to have to cap out Adrenaline if we want it to feel effective. And it'll also increase our max health and movement speed whenever we do. So that'll feel good. We'll put that one point into res. And then we'll work down towards Convergence. Because this also deals damage based on our max health pool. So we can just sort of juggle max health damage things over and over again. And then we could use Subsequence since it's right there. Like, we might as well grab it. And then there's a chance that it'll just go around the battlefield and just grab someone, blow them up, and then grab a new guy and blow him up. And then we can just keep that going over and over again. And that would be super duper funny. Ooh. Oh, wait, I can't afford you. Hold on. Uh, how much? I really want it, but I don't want to sell anything that we have. You know what? Actually, yeah, I will trade my Maggie for another one of these. Yeah, this is this is good. We just traded our Maggie in to get a Quasar because it was the item of the day. I can just go get a new Maggie, so that's okay. But this legitimately might make our build way more OP. Because this will bunch all the mobs up, and it'll also act as the Tesla at the same time. And it's a zero fuse. Which is like, that's insane. And it's low level, so it'll let us stack later on if we just want to keep using it. So with all of that in mind, this is like the prime grenade for us. So that's super nice that we got this. Right, let's test. Okay, we got a lot of stacks. Get a little bit more. And slap. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. That felt really, really good, actually. Nice. Alright, cool. Yeah, not bad at all. Actually, like, really, really easy bunker fight. We do have a lot of really stacked skills already, so like that, of course, it's going to feel pretty good. But yeah, that felt good. Okay, we don't really need the Bada, but the XP will be super nice here. So we're just going to kind of, you know, do that to him. And I mean, we got one anyway. It's actually a really nice one, even. Saturn. We're gonna try to scorn ball him, even though that's a horrible idea. But hopefully he'll jump down and not make me waste all of these quasars. They're all wasted. Alright, let's start. So we get a bunch of stacks going, and then boop. And yeah, it doesn't really do anything because he is a robot and we use fire. So let's just kind of like press more buttons and he's gone. And we might farm him for XP too since we're here. 
Alright, cool. Level 29. So, yeah, we just go forward from here. Alright. So, our plan for Jack. Throw a bunch of these down. Hope that he actually gets hit by them a little bit. And then we're just going to kind of like poke him a little bit. We really just kind of want to get to his shield really low here. Because we do plan on trying to pop it and then immediately spamming him. So just like that. We'll go ahead and phase lock a thing. Try to get him to show up. And bap. And it didn't even hurt him because it hit the ground near him. It didn't count. Oh well, that works. Um, that did... Hold on, that was the Triketra talking. What's up with you? That wasn't even... Okay, that wasn't Scorn. What is that? Okay, I guess the Triketra just does the damage to him. Yeah, I, I mean, sure, free, yeah. Okay, cool. That's a warrior down. Alright, just like that, normal mode is done. So, overall, not too bad. I mean... Honestly, it's Gorn Ball against anything that isn't, like, you know, armored or has a shield is doing an insane amount of damage for us. So that was super duper cool. Uh, we're definitely going to keep pushing Left Tree because we can go ahead and take advantage of Agony a lot better with it. Because we get damage per stack and we get stacks by dealing damage. So... This skill tree has a bunch of reflection skills, which will make our damage hit other enemies for more damage, which will give us more stacks. Yeah, we're going to have a great time with this character, I think. I don't know if the Scorn Ball will carry all the way through to late game and be as strong as it is now, but at least for these basic mobs in this first playthrough, it is absolutely nutty to play with. So, yeah, that feels super good. We'll go ahead and get this. We'll get our XP. But, I mean, overall, that pretty much does it. So, yeah. Day two.